Well, it is Christmas, and what better way to show it than to show some love to my current editing rig. Now, as I've stated in previous videos, I'm quite happy with the performance of my rig overall, so I wasn't going to make any huge differences, and I figured let's just make some minor tweaks here and there. Ideally, something low budget. So, with that in mind, I went out and frankly, I just did it for a bit, quick bit of Googling and a little bit of um, Amazon shopping. The result for this was that there were two main things I wanted to change. One, I wanted to alleviate the thermal paste from my machine in the knowledge that at a later point I will be swapping components in and out and thermal paste for CPUs is kind of a pain. Two, it's generally kind of a bland machine with only a couple of blue indicator lights on the front, which kind of drove my decision to put a little bit more in the fan department that was lit up. So in this case, I decided to go with a couple of blue LED fans to match the rest of the color scheme on the front of the system. And those would be just simple, straightforward fans, no RGB. Again, sticking with the low budget here, but at the same time improving performance in both of the cooling and the overall uh, noise levels. So these are quieter than the existing fans. And if we look at the thermals, the result of this was actually a nice drop in temperature with about four degrees under load from the previous 40 with the stock fans for the case. Now with that all said and done, there's nothing left but to leave you the B-roll footage. For those of you following closer, you may have noticed that I didn't bother to mention the thermal conductive properties of the graphite pad. And there's kind of two reasons for this, one of which is that I made a mistake myself and I ordered a 30 millimeter uh, pad for what was effectively a 40 millimeter space and therefore may have slightly invalidated the test itself, although I didn't see any negative um, impact to the overall heat performance of the machine. And the other one may be that we're already running at low enough temperatures that improving the cooling itself doesn't make a drastic difference as I would see if I was reaching higher temperatures and therefore needed to dissipate faster. Um, with that said, it's unclear as to either one of these being a contributing factor, but it's something to keep in mind and that's why I haven't bothered to update the uh, cooling because I didn't actually see any difference after the fans were added. Um, so from that point of view, a bit of a miss, but hey, maybe there will be some other benefits. Certainly for me, knowing that I don't need to clean up thermal paste when I upgrade the machine is something I am very grateful for. Now hopefully you liked this video, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.